Precipitation conditions are still real tough outside as well. So far today, AAA's roadside rescue team has received more than 350 calls for emergency service in the greater Hartford and eastern Connecticut areas. So take good care out on the roads. In recent days, there have been an alarming number of busted pipes, water pipes all around the state. The main reason for it, the very dramatic fluctuations in the temperatures we've seen. News 8's Ken Pierce live in New Haven this afternoon with some very important advice on protecting your home. Ken. And Keith, this is the kind of cold we don't see every year. So even if you've been in your house for a while, it hasn't been this cold for this long, this many times in a winter in years. So if your pipes have not frozen before, they could now. But don't worry, we've got your back with some tips from the Brantford Fire Chief. We've had ceilings collapse. The, the sheetrock comes down and it gets all over your carpet. It just, it's a mess. Here in Brantford, one business even had pipes burst over Christmas, leaving the office frozen in ice. The Brantford Fire Chief says many of those problems can be avoided by doing one simple thing. Make sure that your pipes are, are warm. The chief says when it's this cold, it's not the time to worry about conserving energy. So don't turn your thermostat down. Instead, keep it up to a normal level. That'll keep the house warm and keep your pipes from freezing. Take a look at this. That's a toilet that froze solid when folks went out of town and turned the heat down. There are plenty of ways to avoid that in your house. If you've got a sink on an outside facing wall like this and you're worried about your pipes freezing, one thing you can do, just leave the faucet running just a little drip just to keep the water moving. That way it's less likely to freeze. The other thing you can do is open up the cabinets down below so that the heat from the rest of the house can get down to those pipes. And if your apartment building or workplace has a sprinkler system, it has to be kept warm, too, if it's a wet system. This is a wet system, meaning that there's water in it all the time, but there's also a dry system. Those dry systems have an air compressor to keep water out, but if that compressor breaks, you could have frozen water in the pipes and not know it. There's a tag on, on every system. It'll tell you what kind of system it is, whether it's a wet or dry system, and when the last time it was checked. There's dates on it. Now, what you don't want to do is heat your home with anything dangerous. Never use your oven or stove. Be careful with electric heaters. Don't use them with extension cords. Be careful with kerosene heaters, too. And if your pipes do freeze, don't thaw them out with a flame. Use a hair dryer instead. Live in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.